Greetings, I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. And I made a few changes, but for the most part, I have just fixed things. Made things actually function properly, you know, fix damage, and I extended the uh, connection right there so that we can have our sprinkles. Hooray! I know, you guys were going to be so sad if the sprinkles were gone. So this episode is going to mostly be about showing you what I did and putting in a few different fixes and new ideas to try to keep what happened last time from happening again. So I've got a mixture of my own ideas and a whole bunch of things I read in the comments, and I'm not even going to try to quote people from the comments this time because not only did a lot of you have the exact same ideas because Great Mind thinks great minds not only did a lot of you have the exact same ideas because great minds think alike but there were just so many i actually for one of the first times ever i have done it a few times in the past but i'm so sorry i didn't read them all i i, I was too excited to get back in and try this again and and i don't i don't i don't i want to do this and not read them all so <laughs> i apologize if i didn't get a chance to read your comment but uh don't worry. I, I most of the time I read them, so so comment on another one, and I'll and I'll get to it. This right here is a known bug that you can't hit enter in here. It's a bug that they're gonna fix, but in the meantime, I've bypassed it by putting in semicolons, which is uh, an alternate form of of ending lines. The other option is to write it in an external app, you know, notepad or whatever, and then copy and paste it in because when you paste it in, you're not actually hitting the enter key. But I know the commands well enough. I kind of prefer to write them in here. So I'm just putting semicolons in and I've made myself a nice little, you know, status display. So that's item number one, that's handled. Um, we're gonna be expanding this display system a little bit but we're going to get there later. Let me show you what I did to kind of fix this guy up here. And we kind of got some extra bonuses out of it. Turn on my light. For one thing, we get to use sliding doors on both sides. Yay. Because this sliding door, oop, this sliding door is not adjacent to this sliding door anymore. That means that we don't have to worry about it, which is awesome. Right? Yes, it is. So let's take a look at it from the outside because we also got some bonuses there. There you go. See, it actually looks a little better too. I was able to kind of slope it in some fun ways. I could go in and use like the two by one slopes, but I don't know, I just kind of had some fun with it. I also threw in a couple of cameras. So this camera is pointing up obviously, and there's one pointing down on the other side. This will allow us to actually watch where we're going. We are going to, please, please don't let me forget, not that you can do anything about it, but I'm going to do my absolute best when we disconnect to take a blueprint and we're going to put a projector on here. And so if we do take some damage, we will be able to turn on the projector and replace all the bits and pieces without too many major problems. We have a potential solution for aligning this ship. And I'm excited to try it out. Our good friend and community member and the writer of Vector Thrust, one of the most amazing scripts ever written, 1WSX10 has written us a little script. And he just kind of threw this together, which is kind of amazing in and of itself because I could spend weeks and never come up with anything this amazing. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's not amazing. Maybe it sucks. I don't know because we haven't tried it yet, but we're going to. So we're gonna pop in here and we're gonna go into edit and he has sent me the code from GitHub. So we're not gonna bring it in from the workshop. So we're gonna need an alignment cockpit and an alignment LCD and we can rename those. But for right now, let's just check code and remember an exit and it's gonna do, it, gonna do its thing. And controller is not working, surprise, surprise. 
because we have to do a few things first. We are going to need two GPS points. The very first thing we need to do is get as close to <laughs> as close to the center of the tower as possible. And I really want to get as close to the center of the tower as possible. So I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to put my cursor dead center on this thing. I don't know how exact it needs to be, but I'm not going to chance anything. So I'm going to go to GPS and I'm going to do new from current position, Epictetus 1. And we actually don't need the GPS point. We just need this, the, 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 the copy to clipboard thing. So now we can delete this one. So we're going to go ahead and pop in here and go to custom data and we're going to paste it right there. And then we need to do the fun part, which is teleport to the surface. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Something bad crash happened. Is that on fire? Is that what's going on here? Yes. And that is because Oh, and one of these is on fire as well. Okay. More than likely, chunks of scrap metal fell on these. You know, because I broke chunks of scrap metal off of my stuff. So we're going to go ahead and turn on the Nanite Control Factory. And I'm going to come over here... And I'm going to get to the very center of this place right here. And we're going to do the exact same thing. So is everything fixed down here? No smoke? No, there's still a little bit of smoke. So are there any components down here to work with? No, there are not. Okay. Well, that's why it's not working. I'm not going to worry about it. This time we'll use the stairs. Yeah, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take out a little bit of the name so it's a little easier to read. Okay, we'll see if that works. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need a cockpit that's facing up and down. And we're gonna get rid of this one right here. So we're gonna have one facing this way and we're gonna have one facing this way and I've got all the parts for one I might as well use them I'm gonna call this one flight seat down I'm gonna call this one flight seat up and flight seat up is actually going to be the one that we use for alignment so we'll pop in here and we'll make this change alignment cockpit is now gonna be flight seat up and the one other thing we're going to need is a screen. So we'll set one right there. And we're going to set one right there. Okay, so we're going to call this one, uh, we're going to call this one alignment LCD. Check code, okay. All tests passed. That's good. All right, here we go. So currently, it's saying that it is aligned to 0.99999 <laughs> of perfect with the GPS coordinates that we put in. That's good news. We're going to find out how this actually works in a bit because we're going to do one other thing. And we are actually going to work with a block that I have never used. Well, I shouldn't say I've never used it. I have used it, but I've never used it in an actual, like, production manner. Like, I've goofed around with it, I've done fun things with it, but I have never made a sound block for, like, a good reason. SSDT alignment alert. Alert is what I want. Military alert. 
I don't like that one. I think this is our best one. So now we've got a sound block, and what we can do is I'm not going to worry about having this system actually realign us, you know, in any automatic way. I saw a few really good suggestions for how to do that, and that might actually have worked really well. And if this doesn't work, we might still try that. But for right now, I'm going to switch this out for just doing the SSDT alignment alert. We're going to play stop. If we go down and trigger on players. Ah, that only played for a second. Okay, so we need to find that alignment alert. Uh, we want it to loop for 30 minutes because <laughs> it's going to keep going until we actually get it realigned. I may wish I hadn't done that, but we'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and check players. If you can't hear that, it's probably because you're not wearing headphones. It's very, very quiet because I don't want to drive you up the wall, but it is continuing. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with the other ones. By the way, if you're wondering why you see the video stutter every once in a while, it's not the video. It's my game because this world has gotten so huge, it, it has trouble sometimes. I'm actually consistently surprised that it works as well as it does. Camera asteroid as one and camera planet as two. Turn on and off uh, hydrogen adjust all the gyros on and off. And for docking procedures, I'm gonna put all that on toolbar two. So the SSDT merge blocks, the SSDT piston, the docking camera, and the SSDT connector switch lock. Okay, so docking procedure first. I'm gonna go through, look at this. We might need to add some light in there. We'll throw a corner light right there. And the default lighting sucks. It's gotta be 14. Radius, yep, that's the one, okay. There, now we can actually see what's going on. So, unlock and reverse. Beautiful, and disconnect merge blocks. Awesome, and we're like instantly completely off, getting alarms. What is going on and why? We're completely 90 degree rotated from the way we were. Just gonna rotate around nice and slow. And we're gonna turn on the internal adjusters. <laughs> this is really awkward because I'm, okay, I gotta do this again because I can't even figure out where I am. Okay, oh, okay, so I'm very slightly moving. I need to actually decrease the power on the thrusters a lot. Like, 1% sounds good. There we go. So I'm turning this thing very slowly. And just watching these numbers, trying to figure out which one. So Y is the one that's the most off. So if I hit the space bar, I move this way. Why am I not getting the alarm anymore? Okay, very slowly, I'm moving toward straight. The lower X and Y get, the smaller the number, the more aligned I am, I think. So let's hop outside and see 
Yeah, see, that actually ended up making me, like, very well aligned. Now, not forward and backward, but just flat. So that helps me align almost exactly with the straightness of the tower. That's not really a word, but okay. And then I hop in, and the number is... So Whoa. Okay. I'm going to turn off the gyro now that I've got that number at uh, six nines there and we can flip out like this now I'm intentionally going past it in hopes of getting the uh, getting the alarm but that's not working oh. okay okay good that's actually working so now if I look through our front and back cameras this is looking straight up this is looking down. I would expect that crosshair to be more aligned with the tower, actually. Okay, if I align that really close to exactly with the tower and then change my view. So I can kind of use the script plus the um, actually trying to line it up on the tower together. I think we're good. I think this is kind of, this is a good... Hey, and look at that. Our speed is 1.2 meters per second. No, it isn't. Why Why does it think it is? Is there something wrong with this script? Did it, it crashed, okay. Recompile, there we go, rebooting. There we go, our speed is zero meters per second. Excellent. What? 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 That's obnoxious. Okay, so we might we might have to do some other stuff, but let's let's put let's take this on a little bit of a test run. I think it's a good idea to let's go down and double check that we can get through almost station and then we need to go down to midway station and actually like shrink it and do all the stuff there. I wish we could copy hot bars. Man. Okay. And now I'm going to turn off the adjustments and let's see how long we can go before we have to, before we get the alarm again. Not very long. I wonder if I might actually do better aligning directly visibly with the bottom of the tower. Well, I guess we'll find out, huh? The other thing I can do is try to align with the, um, the gravity sensor thing or bob. See how it kind of flips back and forth? That would suggest that I'm lined up with gravity. <laughs> this is not working. I just thought of something. Every time one of these, oh, okay, hang on. That might be part of my issue. Because every time any one of them leaves the area, so if, if any one of them is aligned, it will stop. It doesn't necessarily mean, ah, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily mean that, um, that it is properly aligned. It simply means that one of them is properly aligned. So it's really interesting. My SSDT gyroscopes, they're all off. And yet, when I move the mouse, it actually changes the numbers. It shouldn't be able to do that, right? You wouldn't think, anyway. It doesn't change them very much. This is really interesting because my thrusters are turned off as well, but I can actually counteract that drift even though I don't have any thrusters on. Oh, that's really interesting. And it's just very, very small. So now if I go left and right, oh, this is so strange. Well, I'm not sure how well this is working. So we're going to try something else. But first, I think we should probably dock, because we're at 86% hydrogen and I don't want to fall out of the sky. Okay. I'm disabling the stupid alarm. 
Actually, I'm making a button to disable the alarm. Okay, we are locked in. I've made a few changes. Several, quite a few changes. Let's go ahead and do this. And yep, we're getting the alarm. That's wonderful. But I believe we should now fairly easily be able... There we go. Okay, so here's what I've done. We've had this camera here for a while for docking. I actually threw a corner LCD right here. This allows me to see if I'm aligned with the, the tower left, right, this way. And I can get a general feel if I'm too close or too far away from the tower that direction. Like forward and backward. Well, left and right when I'm in the cockpit, which I think I might rotate the cockpit. I'm also, I'm using a, I put a, I put a remote control block down here. And it is facing straight down, which is the direction that we want to align with. And I'm using that as the alignment cockpit uh, for the script. So this one right here is no longer has anything to do with that. So now I believe if I just hit C, yeah, we'll start going down. Pretty much immediately have a problem. Cool. So that tells me that I am tilted a little bit down on this side. So I'm gonna actually turn on the gyro and rotate just a little bit this direction, which should move us. Yeah, we're getting more nines there. And this time when I get a whole lot of nines, ooh, I went a little bit too far that direction, okay. So this time, I'm actually going to do uh, gyro overrides. See if that makes any difference. All right, we are approaching almost station here. So I'm gonna come to right about here and stop. Because this is where I wanna go see just how aligned we are. And one nice thing about having that remote control is that we can actually remote control it past this. So let's go ahead and remote control that down. And yes, it is large grid 2945. Oh, that's right. The remote control is pointed straight down, so we actually have to push forward <laughs> to make it go down. And yes, it's going to have an alarm. Man, that is a tight fit, isn't it? All right, let's find the next docking point. I'm also gonna remove this. It's just more things for my poor computer to have to deal with. Okay. So I'm gonna sit right here. We're gonna just watch and see it drift, if it drifts at all. That's a very mild drift. I think my sensors may be a little oversensitive. Oh, shut up. Oh my gosh, okay. I feel like we're getting closer to the solution. They're, they're so sensitive right now. I think I'm gonna turn down the sensitivity and see how far we can go without any issues. So right now, 4.75, I'm gonna pull off a quarter of a meter, so I'm gonna make it 4.5. And of course, 9.5 for the the one under the window. I'm gonna also flip this around. Oh yeah, and now I can see that screen too. That's handy. Okay, setting it up again. I'm going to have the alert sound block as slot nine on both of my hot bars so that I can turn that thing on and off whenever I need to. And then we'll see what we can do about getting this thing perfectly aligned. Oh, this is kind of nice. Actually having them aim the same direction means I can see that horizontal horizon indicator and line up with that too. Let's look straight down and go. Took a little bit longer this time, maybe. Ah, yeah, adjusted that way. It's better. 
it's getting better. Each time, just a little bit better. Okay, we're almost at another connector. We'll go down to that. And then we'll stop and think about some other options. I, I do have some thoughts. Oops. Okay, we're locked in. We'll be refilling our hydrogen tanks. It might not be a bad idea to put in some aligners, like either wheels or landing gear to ride the tower. I know I said I didn't want to. I don't want to. But you guys did have some very good ideas. Several people mentioned that if I do wheels, then I can set the friction to zero. So fair enough. I'm wondering where I'm going to do wheels. I don't want to put them on the top or the bottom. I'm not sure I've got room on the inside. And I also need to be able to retract them. I could put them on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to have to think about this. I think I'm going to have to think about it between episodes. I know we didn't get quite as much done today as you'd probably have hoped, but we did try some interesting new things. I think we're getting a lot closer. Got to play with a really interesting script, that's for sure. And I think that is quite helpful. There were, there were many times where I was looking at that and able to adjust just kind of following the numbers. And I, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. 1WSX10. Um, by the way, if you haven't watched the little video I did of his uh, vector thrust script, I highly recommend it. Very, very recommend it. Yes. <laughs> it is very cool. I will make sure that there is a link in the description as well as a card. It's complicated. We will be able to do it. One way or another, it will happen. I guarantee it. I've got like five more ideas that are kind of my backup ideas. <laughs> Many of them involving scripts of some kind. Uh, some involving something a little more physical, like touching the tower in one way or another. Some of them involve making the donut a very, very thick donut. <laughs> I was hoping not to make it too much thicker. But if we have to add another layer on the bottom and put pistons in there with with wheels on it, then we will. That's what we'll do. I'm just really hoping not to have to do that. Or rotors. Might do rotors. Okay. Well, we'll keep thinking about that. And please put your comments down below. Tell me what you think. I love reading your comments. There's always <laughs> There's always some that I read and I'm like, that would be genius if it weren't for one tiny little thing. But that's okay. I want to see it anyway because half the time I think, wow, that totally doesn't work in this situation, but it would work in another place. And so I get to learn and I really like it. Uh, also, if you're new to space engineers or even if you're not, if you're an old hat and you, you know it all, read the other comments. Sometimes, I mean, the, the wealth of information that comes out of that comment section is incredible. I got to tell you, thank you very much. Please hit the thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the alarm bell so you know when the next episode comes out. Okay, enough blathering from me. We're going to go ahead and wrap this guy up. And we'll come back with even more ideas next episode. So... As always, I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.